I think it's really important for the Georgia Tech community to sort of get beyond their everyday thinking about their classes and their exams that they have and just engage with the broader world. We're, we're picking an issue that's ripped from the headlines uh, and affects everybody. The Arab Spring seems to be this major historical marker transforming the Middle East in ways that uh, we probably are, are unimaginable now and probably won't see until quite some time. We need to remember that it was actually the Iraq War that unleashed many of these, uh, many of these, these dynamics that we see today. And that's something that's critical for militant groups to be able to function. They need support just to be able to operate in towns. They need places to hide. They need resources just at a very basic level. I think learn a lot about ISIS and what kind of organization it is, but also more broadly about how you can even hope to tackle um, you know, opposed organizations such as ISIS. I think that the Obama administration is, should be commended in, in, a, in trying to walk a very difficult line between different policy dilemmas that we tried to lay out. I think the challenge as it moves forward is to put uh, meat on the bones, so to speak, not only to explain to the American public, but, but to actually try to put something in place that can create, as I've said before, time and space on the ground for those other actors. Um, and what ISIS has done, and or is beginning to do, and this is something that Hamas has done very effectively, is that they've been able to provide services in places where the government hasn't been able to. The United States will get challenged in various arenas, not just, not just say in the Middle East of why you intervene in this place and not the other, but also at home, because it, uh, we could have an entire panel on domestic politics of how, um, how these foreign policies affect our domestic politics and the debates uh, that, that occur. I mean, my research would indicate that, you know, our strategy of, you know, targeted airstrikes against leadership is not effective. And, and not only is it not likely to be effective, it's likely to be counterproductive. And it's likely to have these blowback kind of consequences that could radicalize people on the ground. I think the Georgia Tech today of today is a lot different than yesteryear. And I think the students, the engineers in particular, are global in perspective.